Still not fast enough. All right, where is... You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to take the damage. Hot. Okay. Roxas needs to go and get himself some health. But first things first, let us open up the Sphinx. Which has a cutscene again. That is something I hate. Don't put a time limit on something if you're going to have the time go down during that. But here we have a mummy. This is one of the first ones we've seen of these. Hit them down, and they will stay stunned a bit. They cannot be killed. Unfortunately. At least I think not. I don't think... Uh, Wonder Wing. Oh, they can be killed with Wonder Wing. Okay. Ignore my ramblings, but we have the classical matching game, which I think these tiles are... Ra I don't think these tiles are randomized, but they might be. Mumbo. Honeycomb. Note. I f yeah, these these tiles are indeed randomized, I believe. Okay, Jinjo. That is always the easiest one. I was always a ma I was always good at old maid, and by good at old maid, I mean I was always terrible at old maid. Okay, so there's Kazooie, so Kazooie and Kazooie, and who's this one? Banjo and that's a feather. I mean, banjo's right here. Speaking of feathers, we got feathers. Which means, are you Mumbo? Yes, you are indeed Mumbo. You are indeed the Ikombokum. Right, and that means the last one is eggs. So, complete the puzzle in time and jiggy. Perfect. Give me that jiggy. All right, so that is jiggy number five. All right. But, I think Trunka needs some help. We should probably go and find a way to get him to cool off. Shouldn't we? I mean, he is roasting right there. His poor nuts, as Kazooie had put it. And also, this, this scarab beetle can go and die. Ha <laughs> ha! You make the same sound effect as a dragonfly. All right, going up. All right, I'm starting to get all the notes, which is good. I still have a lot less jiggies than I would want at this point, though, because... Here I look at the time I'm spent in here. 17 minutes. Oh, my God. I have, like, 10 minutes before my average. Oh, geez. That's not good. All right. So, let's go back to Trunka over here. And look. Gobi's here. Hi there. You already asked that, Kazooie! Eggs and feathers will not help. He needs water. We know this. Gobi! Share! And exponential growth! Never mind, it just looks like he ended up just stretching himself up a bit. But it looks like Gobi ran off that way. Hmm. I should probably go and apologize to him, in all honesty. I mean, I I did free him. He did give me a reward. But, I mean, come on. You can't be that selfish. This man was... This, this tree. This poor tree. His nuts were shriveling. You just, you just can't ignore calls and pleas like that. So, I wonder where... I wonder where Gobi went. I mean, this is called Gobi's Valley. Now, where's the magical carpet? is a better question. There it is. Now it should be coming around over here. Ow! No! No! Come back for Banjo! Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, I'm safe right here. Perfect. Um, well, why don't we go and get that honeycomb piece, actually, while we're at it? Because, I mean, I do sort of need it. And I did leave it there. But now we're starting to get to the point to where I need to start crunch timing because I don't want to spend too much time in this stage. I see that. I never grabbed this jiggy. <laughs> oh my god, I can imagine it now. Wait, I did all the missions. Why don't I have all the jiggies? What's going on? But, oh, Gobi's over here. Hi, Gobi. You okay? You okay, Gobi? I mean, look, I'm sorry about before. 
I mean... Gobi, talk to me. Gobi, if you don't talk to me, I'm gonna hit you. Fine! See how you like it. Very well, Gobi, very well. But I will be taking this. So, that means we only need one more piece left, and then we are set. At the same time, I am almost dead, but luckily I can defy gravity. Good thing I can defy gravity. Now, there is a flight pad down here that I am going to desperately try to get to with this much health. And barely landed on it. Perfect. Right, so flying up, so let us go and grab that other honeycomb piece so we can end up getting all of our health back. That would be lovely. Right, and... Uh-oh. Oh! Dying right in front of a full health increase. How embarrassing. Huh, I guess Trunker stays as Trunker. Interesting. So what does that make that? That makes that uh, death number two in the project, actually. Huh. I'm surprised I've not died a lot more. Wait, wait. Now I remember. My death quota is going to be inside of that evil stage after Mad Monster Mansion. Of course. But we're almost done with Gobi Desert. Uh, I really wish Gobi Desert was not this long for me. I'm just not that good at this stage, I will admit. But uh, let's get over to here. And this time... I'm going to go and get that honeycomb piece once I reset it. Gosh darn it. I knew it was too good to be true. <sighs> Stupid cactus. You ended up making me have to reset you. I should be grateful, though. At least that's not on a timer, because most games would have put that thing on a timer. Much to my chagrin. But I've been also ignoring a few things. I normally, have, I normally set things up better. But these guys end up moving, so... Have some eggs. All right, and he sinks in. And a tiny little pyramid comes out. I'm going to assume you want eggs too, my friend. Very well. I shall give you all eggs. But first, I should actually go and get that honeycomb piece, because what's going to end up happening is I'm not going to be able to get that honeycomb piece. Otherwise, right, so fly up. So let's go and get it this time without me screwing up? That'd be lovely, Roxas. Try to... Uh, uh, follow Cranky Kong's advice, Roxas. Get good. And there we go. Don't worry, I got hit. But my health is back. All right, and since I'm already right here, uh, where exactly? Right. We're gonna be grabbing the sneakers, and we're gonna be doing something right now that I hate. Remember how I hate the cutscene thing? Here's another example of me hating it. You can't skip this. And you need to use the speed shoes in order to get this. In fact, I think I might have already screwed it up because it is tight what you gotta do. You gotta, you will barely make it. I'm not joking. Uh oh, I might have screwed up. I might have screwed up. I might have screwed up. Okay, barely made that. Oh my god, I hate that one. But we're not done yet. No, go right over here. Fly up before you hit that. And grab this mumbo token. Otherwise, what's going to end up happening is you're going to miss out on that mumbo token and have to come back to Gobi Valley. So what we're going to do is grab this jiggy on this derp face mouth. So give me the jiggy. The door opens. And the water drains with a mummy in my face. And as you can see, it fills up the pool right there, which is why I use that flight pad to grab that jiggy. Otherwise, I'd have to go on the top of the Sphinx. Oh, look at the little mummies. Wonderwing. Right, and that's number two. Number three. And number four. And I'm ignoring all of these mummies, so let's go out of here. We're close to wrapping up Gobi's Valley, finally. I know. I say that now, and we're probably at, like, 27 minutes already. I've screwed up so much. But Mumbo Token, so that makes 23. I forgot that there were notes on the bottom of this place. Great. Uh, and here I thought I was done with drowning. 
Okay, and number two, number three, number four, that's a Jinjo. So we only have the pink one left. And number five. All right, so we're done with that. So let us go up here to the next area, which is going to be us setting up over here, because we still have also not gotten the Grunty Switch yet. Well, we're going to be doing that right now. That is, that, that, that's the speed running tactic for uh, getting it. Uh, not not going on the platform that you need to do to activate this. Right, and get the camera in. Perfect. All right, so that is number two. This raises a little bit more. I need to go back on that pyramid to go and get those remaining notes, actually. And let's go to the last one right now. So then we can end up filling this out. So... Right here, the platform is tiny. There we go. I find that just rapid firing eggs when you have the 200 eggs is just perfect. And there you go. That sub resurfaces the pyramid. So we're gonna be going inside there once I go and get those notes that are inside the pyramid I had to run to get to the entrance because ain't nobody had time to get to those notes. Also because we're just about done with Gobi's Valley, as I keep saying that. I am Roxas, constant repeater of self. Right, and shoot. Egg? Eggs, 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 eggs. Oh, get over here. Go up. Two. So we have 90 notes. We have 91 notes. A trophy at the top too. I might as well grab 92 notes. There we go. And mine. There we go. So now we're ready to go into the last section of the game, which should also contain the last Jinjo, if I'm remembering correctly. And then we can be done with Gobi's Valley, and then I never have to come here again. Thank you. Like I said, I don't hate Gobi's Valley. I just find it tedious. It's it's just really boring. But, where is this place? This is King Sandybutt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. Um. Oh no! Now we have to go and do a maze. Oh, I don't want to solve your maze. So pretty much for the maze, uh, go through it. You can't control the camera, unfortunately. Talon trot it your way to the end. If you end up running out of time, I believe you die. I think I did this, I just was going down random paths my first try, and I just did it all my first try, and it was rather hilarious. Oh, there's a, there's a trophy right there. There! Now King Sandy Butt won't kill me. If I remember correctly, there should be feathers. Perfect. There we go. Now I gotta get to the end, and fast should be over this way. We can see the ending. But this is actually where the grunty switch is, too. That's why I hate this. So, 96, 97, 98, 99, and... Roxas is missing one, isn't he? Oh, no. It happened. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... I don't even know how I got that, but you heard the whistles too. So that means the Jinjo is in here too. So here's Jiggy number 10. I'm missing a note. Oh no. Oh no. Roxas goofed up somewhere. But first things first, we need to go back and get that thing. But every time you enter here, the timer goes off again. Which is annoying, but just go over this way. Ignore everything else. And we get to the grunty switch. So, activate the grunty switch, and it opens up the sarcophagus, revealing a jiggy. Alright, so I'm gonna cut ahead until I find this note, because I was hoping to avoid this in this project. I I isn't that always the case for any collectathon or any platformer in general? I missed one. 
So, we are done here. So, cutting ahead real quick. Found it! Oh my god, that took me so much longer than it should have. For record, I spent 10 minutes looking for that one note. Now you see why. I can only hope that one of the worst levels in the game when it comes to notes doesn't give me that much trouble. Otherwise, I'd be mirroring my first Xbox Live Arcade playthrough of the game. But we're done with Gobi's Valley, thank God we're done. So before we end off this episode, uh, you can have Rentilda in the back of Gobi's Valley if you need her hints. But what we need right now is to get that jiggy before I rip my hair out. At the same time, you die. All right, so what we have to do is we have to wait for the shock pad. So whoop. And there we go. So that should make jiggy number seven. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This is Roxas 1359 Next time, we're going to be heading off to another one of my favorite stages in the game, Mad Monster Mansion. See you guys next time.